Oh, now I'm getting emotional again. Made me cry so early. When Pika was a little bird, Pika asked Mama. Hi guys, good morning, and I mean really good morning. It is 5.46 a.m. Yeah, I'm already awake. I don't know why. <laughs> because um, Ralph played with Star Wars so early. He took her inside the bedroom and played with her. Just because he woke up early too and couldn't get back to sleep. That was around 4, 4, 15 a.m. I remember. And of course because we're in one bed, that woke me up as well and couldn't get me back to sleep. So I already asked for my breakfast. And I'm having it here. I'm having pancakes and coffee. For those asking, I'm having a cappuccino instant coffee. I love it, but Ralph always has his native coffee in the morning and his cappuccino in the afternoon when he goes to Seven Waves. Also, I think one of the reasons that I couldn't get back to sleep is because I always have this issue when, for example, a friend of mine's relative or an immediate relative passed away. And I visited them. It's like I am thinking of the moment when their loved ones really like departed because I had that situation too with my mom. I was there when her last, I was there in her last breath, like literally there when her last breath was like <gasps> and didn't come back anymore. I was really right next to her and with my friend's situation, it's not like that because she was not around when her father really You know, and I think somehow she's guilty of that, and I can totally relate to that because I am just here with my father living downstairs, and sometimes I can't even see him for like the whole week because I'm just very busy working up here, and he can't even come up here because it's too hot in here. So I guess that's also the reason why. I couldn't get back to sleep. I'm thinking about that. And I even told Ralph that I guess I'm gonna make a change from now on. Like every day I would really have to go down and spend some quality time with my father. I do that every day. Yeah. Well, now I'm getting emotional again. It's just that my friend is like a father's girl too. She's like the papa's girl. Anyway, I'll have my breakfast first. You made me cry so early.
4.48 p.m. and Ralph just woke up. That, which explains why I haven't really vlogged for the most part of the day. Because I couldn't do anything if he's just sleeping. Hello! Say hello. Pika is injured because yesterday or the day before yesterday, he snuck out of his cage and landed on Carlos's cage. And you know Carlos. It's deadly when he bites you. Fortunately, the damage was not that alarming. But he did bleed a bit. We put bet betadine, and I think his foot is okay now. Although I can still see the dried blood left in there. So Pika, why did you escape? Are you so unhappy in your cage that you have to escape? And yeah, we just finished shower, but we're not going anywhere. We Ralph is still working, as I can see. And tomorrow we are going to Bacolod because you know it's Monday and it's my day off. We are bringing along Audi with us. He is the organizer of the pageant that I will be hosting on the 25th. He will help us pick. A dress for me to wear for the pageant because I guess Ralph doesn't rely on my style uh, decision. Get Pika! Don't bite! So yeah, other than that, as much as I wanted to vlog today, I couldn't because you know, if Ralph is sleeping, the room would have to be turned, the light would have to be dim. So I couldn't do anything if the light is dim. Poor Pika! Poor Pika! He was bitten by Carlos! Mwah, 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 mwah. Pika, do you want Mama to install like a perch in here? So when you go visit here, you have a perch. Also, um, we are gradually transitioning the lorry kids and chattering lorries from Sarilac into um, Porridge. Although, I think the biggest fan of it is only Loud Loud and Starbucks. Lorry, the rainbow lorry also ate, but not not too much which is why I'm also gonna try giving them this old golden oats that we bought before I don't know why I even bought it before I guess someone was sick and needed oats but it's just been in my kitchen for a long time I am sure it's still not expired November of 2016 yeah it's still good and try if they would also eat it. You know, Sarilac is very, um, not really very expensive, but there's like four of them eating Sarilac. So it gets to be pricey. What do you want to do? What do you want? You know, you really have to have a perch because your claws are very sharp. It's hurting mama's hand. <sighs> and how come you don't talk when you're out, but when you're inside the cage, you're so... <laughs> Pika, do you want to Mama still has to comb her hair. Okay, you perch here. So I can comb my hair. Yes, Pika. Pikachu is an Indian ringneck for those who don't know. Yeah, how cute is he? Oh! No, 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 no! Come here! Okay, 
well, look how cute he is perching on my computer. Pika! <laughs> Come back! Oh. Bad little Pika. Bad little Pika. Okay, perch, perch. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. This is not gonna hurt you. Hop, hop. Come back, Pikachu. He was um, scared when I moved the tripod. He thought I'm gonna make him perch in it. Okay, come back, Pikachu. He just wants to practice. Okay, Pikachu. Ouch. Okay, he landed on my head. Okay, Mama has bald spots in there, so it's not good to perch on Mama's head. When Pika was a little bird, Pika asked Mama, what will he be? Will he be Quapple? Will he be rich? His Mama said to him, Que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. Baby, pika, pika, pika. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to end here. If you like our video, please don't forget to give it a thumb up and please subscribe to our channel. I'm sorry it's a very brief vlog, but tomorrow we will be vlogging in Bacolod. Bye!